Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I got more shoes, but not a lot. Stay tuned. All right, good morning to everybody out there. Uh, coffee sponsor of the day is Twee. It's T H E, excuse me, T H U E Y. And Twee writes, I'm Nat's sister from your tennis club. I live in Wisconsin. I watch your videos all the time. Thank you for all the information. Dot, dot, dot. I need it. Oh, thank you so much. And of course, I know Nat, so now I know you, Nat's sister, Twee. Nice to meet you. And thank you for the dark roast, piping hot brew that's keeping me up this morning. Uh, if you want to be my coffee sponsor, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. So thank you in advance and thank you to all my friends and their families out there. I appreciate you. Nice hot dark roast today. Okay, so finally got some more shoes from Nike, but unfortunately, I literally only got two pairs of these, and one of them is a size 10, which is this one here. This is the Nike Zoom Vapor Cage 4 Rafa edition. So this is what he wore at Wimbledon. So I will have to squeeze my size 11's foot into the size 10. Um, Coach Jared, fortunately, is a size 10, and uh, he should be able to get into these pretty easily. So I'm going to actually try them on here and see how far I can get with them. All right, so let's take a quick uh, gander at the weight here. I'm going to take this uh, paper off the bottom now before I trip and fall when, when I try to step down. So they put that on the bottom. So at the scale. Oh, crap. That's a pretty heavy shoe. 440. Okay. Just, just to give you an idea of how heavy that is. This is pretty heavy, I would say on the heavier side of most shoes. And this is lighter. Actually, no, I'm wrong. It's about the same, 445. I thought it was like 425, but um, we're in realm, guys, because this is a 10 and a half and this is a 10. You add that extra half size, I bet you they weigh about the same if this was a 10 and a half. Maybe they're gonna feel the same too. Let's hope it's a half size too big for me. All right, let's try it on. All right guys, so let's quickly just take a look at the shoe. This actually reminds me of one of the first gen cages that I actually used to wear, where it was actually a pretty firm shoe. And this is firm. Like I'm gonna, this is not that easily bendable. This is a one piece sole with a hole in the middle here. So it's not that easily bended. So it's firm. And Rafa historically has liked shoes like this, where it keeps his ankles kind of stable. And you know, like he runs a lot. As you guys know, he's probably running a marathon every match so he needs this stability um but i can see like that cage um first gen that was around maybe 10 plus years ago looks and feels just like this i actually still have that shoe at home somewhere um the interesting thing is like all this part reminds me of that cage this part reminds me of something else so this is all for dragging, toe drag, going sideways drag, 
you know, using this part as a brake and obviously needing this to be durable for that toe to come through like this. This part is just going to be more for comfort because no one's going to drag this way. Interesting. I don't know why they did this part like this, but they're doing a lot. Nike's doing a lot of shoes like this. It's obviously for stability in that heel where you it's harder and hard makes it harder and harder for you to turn an ankle. I remember when they started doing this kind of a lacing system in that shoe about 10 years ago, that cage. Um, the first gens, when they yanked on the laces, like they, you would pop these out, like because there's no holes and it's just stitched together. Um, hopefully, these will hold up better. As you can see, the lacing is kind of really like close together here and then widens out towards where uh, you actually lace it. So this tongue is attached, as you can see, to the bottom. Here, I'll show you this way. It's attached to the bottom so it actually holds down when you lace it and holds it down to this side only. Like this is, it's attached to all this. It's going to be interesting. Hmm. Dave, They've actually, Nike's done a good job with these shoes um, so far this year. And let's see if I can get into this 10 here. Ew. <laughs> yeah, I need a shoehorn for this one. Oh, I got them in. Whoa, whoa. Feel like a hot dog, like a sausage packed in here. That's weird. The length is fine though. Hmm. The length is good. The heel is tight though on this this one. Interesting. So as soon as I put it on. Because it's attached here with some elasticity, it as soon as I drop my foot in, it pushes it down. So this is actually pretty stable. Like you can't really move this because it's attached here and the elasticity down here is attached to the sole. So it just clamps down on your foot. I probably don't even need to lace this at this point. I know people are gonna wanna tug on this tongue yeah there's not it's not going to do much all right it's too bad i only got a size 10 and a size 9 in all right oh i'm gonna show you the rafa name on the back first that's actually really comfortable I am pretty shocked by, whoa, like the arch is kind of non-existent since, and, and they aren't existent in most tennis shoes. You'll have to add it in sole for that, as I always say. Um, definitely on the firmer side, but not too firm. I'm easily going to be able to bend them right now and be okay. I would say probably don't need to break in this very much. You're pretty much good like right now. Yeah, interesting. I'm actually pretty shocked. I'm actually ready for the court now. Huh, all right, let's try them on the court.
All right, so we just got off the court with the Cage 4 Rafa shoe, and I'm pretty impressed, but let's talk to the person who actually wears a size 10 first, Coach Jared. Yeah, so uh, I used to be a big user of Nike shoes and then transitioned to the Adidas Barricade just because it gave me a little bit more uh, comfort and stability. Um, Rafa's new shoe is actually surprisingly great for me. Um, this one's actually low to the ground. Reminds me a little bit of the ballistics back in the day, if you guys remember th those shoes, but actually a little bit faster. So it's not as bulky as it used to be, but still provides the same stability as the ballistics. Um, kept my foot snug, offered a lot of good support, and it actually competed a little bit with the barricades in my opinion. And I think the barricades uh, sometimes gave me a little bit of foot problems in terms of blistering and some discomfort here and there, but uh, so far with the time on the court with this shoe, haven't had any issues at all. So I'd give this one a uh, thumbs up in my book. Coach Jared just reminded me. That's what I was looking for, the name, Ballistic. <laughs> that's right, Ballistic. Uh, 4.3s, I think? 3.3, 4.3, 2.3, 1.3, any of those point threes. I'm not sure what the point three stood for, but uh, yes, that's what this shoe reminded me of especially this part in the yep. here. It has that stiffer kind of, uh, that ballistic was like this all the way around though, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, but I like how they put that on the inside of the shoe and the outside is a little more flexible so you have more uh, room for, for lateral movement. So exactly. I think it's, it's great. Yeah, but I, the cushioning is great on this shoe. It's actually very stable. Um, I was, I didn't, I forgot to show you this, but look how stiff it is. It's actually pretty stiff. So it's pretty hard to roll an ankle. Coach Jared um, is always worried about rolling an ankle. I, and he was a little worried about this shoe. But yeah, in the beginning. Yeah. In the beginning, but he offered great lateral support and didn't find any problems with it. And it was good for uh, chasing down balls. So I, I enjoyed it. And yeah, the cushioning it. was really good. It's I was great. surprised. <laughs> it's great, yeah. yeah it, <laughs> it's got great cushioning. You're a little higher off the ground than a Vapor 9.5 or a 10. So there's actually some kind of uh, pillowing on your feet, not like stepping on the ground with a piece of cardboard. Yeah, enough about that. So cushioning, yes. Uh, so I fit my 10 and a half, 11 foot into this 10 and I was actually okay with it. I was actually okay with it. Coach Jared, how was your fit on this? It was snug, but uh, it's comfortable. It was and, comfortable. And you're a true size 10, True right? 10, true okay. 10, yep. So these are true to size. Okay, so get your size and it will work if you can get a pair right now. We were fortunate enough to get two pairs, but only one of them fit. So, so we're good, all right? Here you go, bud. Yeah, I <laughs> want to thank Coach Jared for hanging out with me today and trying out these Rafa shoes. Coach Jared, where can they find you? You guys can find me on Instagram at Jared Ma. All right, we'll link that below. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin where we put our spin on your tennis. Coach Good, check yeah. this out. Swing Vision got new commercial out. Oh. Check out, is James Blake and, and Ronick. Oh my God. He's still playing? I mean, he's still playing. Whoa, whoa. Ooh. What? Dude, dude. That's damn fast. I can do it. I can do it, dude. Back in the day, I could I could do that. I could totally do that, dude. You can do that. You can do that. Let's go, man. We can show them how it's done. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's all right, go. All right. All right. All right. Eighty-five miles per hour. That can't be right. No, that's definitely right. That's definitely right, man. Eighty-eight miles per hour. That's not a gigawatt. One more. One more. Watch. Watch me. 78 miles per hour. Hey, man. <laughs> Something wrong with this program. Nah, that's just you, bro. Let, you try. You try. Fine, Let's okay, see what I'll you do. It. I'll do it. You're going to go 69 right here. 127 miles per hour. You can check out your serve speed on Swing Vision 2. Dot, we got an issue.